Right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are, Frankfurt Music Messi 2013, and I'm with so, uh, Chris. Chris from Newmark, is that right? All right, now I believe we have some exciting new products. Can you just tell people what have we got? Absolutely. So uh, I guess we're going to walk around here. So let's. Let's start with the IDJ Flex. The IDJ Flex is the latest thing from Newmark. Uh, it essentially is very similar to our, your, your mixed track series, uh, but it ties it together with the iPad and iOS as well. So if you're a DJ and you like to go out and you know and, and work either with your iPad or your computer, you, now you have an option where you can do both things, do them seamlessly and easily. Uh, it, all the controls are mapped directly to DJ uh, for your iPad or your iPhone. It's also directed to DJ for your Mac. So it comes with DJ LE for your Mac. Yep. It also comes with virtual DJ LE. Can you use your iPhone as well? You can use your iPhone as well. It has the audio output right here. So if I'm playing a track, you can hear that speaker. I can scratch my track. Set my cue point. I can set up a loop. So my mixer is built into it, so I have all my different controls that I might want to use. I can plug a microphone into it and talk over. So it really is, it's a, it's a complete little system. Nice. Uh, who are you targeting this for? The bedroom DJ, mobile DJ, or...? You know, it, it's, a, it's a cross between bedroom and mobile at this point. We have a bedroom DJ product here with the IDJ Live 2. The IDJ Live 2 works with your lightning connected uh, iOS device or your 30-pin connected or your computer. You can plug it in all those things. Very basic controls on it. Um, it's not the type of thing that you would expect to go out and do a full gig with, um, but it's designed for something that, you know, you're trying to get your feet wet a little bit and figure out what, what it is about DJing that, that interests you. And it's a good way just to get into it. It works with any of those devices that you might actually be working with right now. Okay, so again, this ideally, if you want to say begin the avenue of becoming a DJ, I suppose the beauty about using this is that if you don't like being a DJ, you haven't spent much money, have That's you? That's true. That's absolutely true. I mean, it's one thing to go download an application to your iPad or your computer and click a mouse and try and do something with it. But honestly, if you want to know what it feels like to get up there on stage and actually spin some wheels and do some adjustments and tweaks and things like that, you can't do it without hardware. Yeah. And this is a very inexpensive way to get into it and really feel the action of what's going on. Fantastic. Okay, so what are the new products do you have, sir? Absolutely. So, moving on down the road here. We showed this off in there. This is called the Orbit. This is the world's first uh, wireless DJ controller with built-in accelerometer. And uh, so, so we're going to be shipping it with a program called Orbit DJ. It goes right along with it. You can see all the stuffs on the screen there. As I press play here, the uh, make sure we can hear it. Right? There we go. Back over here, bingo. Good, okay, we can edit that, right? We hope. <laughs> All right, so what we have here is the Orbit DJ. And I'm gonna play a track right here. As you can see all the controls are mapped here on the screen. So let's say I wanna set up a loop. I got a loop going on. I'm gonna release the loop. But you wanna get into the fun stuff, right? So we're gonna go over here to the effects. I just changed it over here to effects on the screen. Let me add a little bit of a filter to it. So I got my filter going, maybe a little flange. Maybe add some filter to my flange. Maybe I want to repeat some stuff. So I have all my controls. Kill some frequencies. So this is the Orbit DJ. We're shipping it. We're shipping the Orbit with Orbit DJ because if you're a guy that, that doesn't know a whole lot about MIDI and you say, "Geez, I mean, I think that's a little bit intimidating the whole MIDI thing. I need a solution right away." We're going to put this inside there so a guy who's just kind of getting into it can do that, figure out what's going on with it, then download the map for Tractor Tractor that's sitting there. Download the other maps that we have in there, maybe for Ableton or the other DJ software that you might like to use. Yeah. Take and load that into your your software, hook up an Orbit, and away you go. So we really 
we really think this is a great solution for both guys. We're just getting into it as well as guys who are a little bit advanced. And for the super advanced guys, we're putting in the Orbit MIDI editor. So we're adding another software inside. So there's two softwares that come with the Orbit now. And the Orbit MIDI editor will allow you to go ahead and edit the way the Orbit works. So let's say you want to have a pad that's designed right now for being just a static trigger. Uh, and you want it to be a sustainable thing, so it's a latching, latching type switch. You can use the Orbit you can use the MIDI editor for changing all those different parameters. Nice. I like, I, like, I like the idea that you can just walk around with that. It's taking the DJ to the crowd, isn't it? That's right. That's Take what it's all about. You crowd. should not be hiding behind a console. You no. should be out there. You should be in it. You should be interactive with your audience. Yeah. And and this is a great way to do it. I mean, go go back, hit play on your deck or whatever, then go out here and have some fun with the effects and other things like that. The crowd's going to be wowed by what you did. You're going to be really getting into what you're doing. I mean, it's all about a little bit of performance um, and getting into what you're doing. Fantastic. All right, so we have these three. Any other new products? Oh, yeah, we got more stuff. Come on, so, let's go so. for this. We move around. I assume everybody's seen the NS7 Mark II, right? Yeah. NS7 Mark II, we've added, we've taken the NS7, we've added in the MPC pads to it. We've also added our capacitive touch knobs here so it can use them for frequency kill or for special effects, uh, which will be tied to maybe tying it back with a filter and things like that. So, all sorts of cool stuff we have planned right now to go along with the NS7 to, uh, Mark II. That'll be coming this summer mm -hmm. uh, and coming with Serato DJ. And new at the show, New at the show, what you're looking at right here, this is the Mix Deck Quad. I'm sorry, Mix Track Quad. Mm -hmm. The Mix Track Quad steps it up from the Mix Track Pro. The Mix Track Pro, of course, we brought out a few months ago. Yeah. Uh, it's the latest in the Mix Track series of products, our very successful Mix Track series of products. And what we've done with the Mix Track Quad is a couple things that are a little bit different. We've added in a couple more channels. Yeah. So now you're a four deck guy and you're trying to get into what's going, you know, trying to trying to really like step it up a notch. You know, maybe add some samples of what's going on, do some other things on the other decks. You can do that with the Mix Track Quad. We've also added in RGB LEDs. So underneath all the pads and underneath all the wheels, you, ha you can set them to any particular color that you want, which is really good because it's great feedback to know what you're doing yeah. when you hit a button and know what it's actually doing in that particular moment. So right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the deck color of this particular deck and let's change it to, uh, I don't know, let's change it to red. So there you go. Now the deck's red. I'm going to go and play the track on the deck. And there you go. So. All right, so again, mixed track quad is pretty much identical to the Pro 2, except for four channels and RGB at the top. That is correct. Great. That is correct. Again, so, something very important for everyone who's watching this, if you are a person who likes to do a little bit of a remix on the side, you know, we could have like bass line here, we could have percussion here, we could have a drum beat, we could have an acapella, couldn't we? So Absolutely. That, I mean, that's really the whole, the whole concept. Say so you want to go ahead and you want to scratch something or whatever, what's, what's going on. Yeah. You can do that and you can also, then you can go over here, you can add a sample into it, press play over here, you got your sample going along with it, and so I want to do some effects, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some effects to what's going on. Yeah. And away you go. Fantastic. So we have this. I mean, what's this little beauty here? Ah, this is the Mixed Track Edge. This is the world's slimmest, the slimmest of DJ controllers you'll ever find. So we've had great success with our DJ to go. And DJ to go is a very super compact, portable DJ controller, but it lacks some features that people still want to have when they go out of work. So what we've done, we've added the audio interface inside, so you can do your headphone queuing, you have your master output, so you can go out to your speaker, uh, and it gives you the ability to do all sorts of different things uh, inside a very, very slender uh, DJ controller. That very is simple pro very profile <laughs> knobs, pads. Um, I can browse through tracks, so I go to browse mode on my wheels, and I can take and I can throw that track up on a deck, so I'm throwing that track up on a deck. I can change the pitch. So if you take a look up here on, on the screen, you can see that I'm actually changing the speed of the song right here. Yeah. All right. Or I can just be bending the track. So I can bend the track or scrubbing the track as well. So I'm in the middle of playing, now I'm scrubbing, now I'm bending the track. Um, I, I can adjust all my cue points. There's a lot more control on this thing than you might think just by a first glance at it because we've basically taken all the functions and added maybe a secondary function to it. Yep. That's how we're able to keep it so small and so slender and so portable. And what's really cool about it, and I'm gonna plug it so you can see this, what's really cool about it is I can take it, I can close the lid, 
I can close the lid, then I can stick it in my bag. Is that, is there put any it right reason, next to my computer. Yeah. Is there any so, reason why it's quite similar size to an iPad? No particular reason at all, except for the fact it's just a comfortable size, right? Yeah. You know what I can see? I could see, may, can this be used with an iPad? Um, not at this time, but there's there's always that Okay, you know what, right? I'm, so. I think I'm going to read into Newmark's mind, because I can see you designing something that flips open with your iPad and that. I can see that happening. Sounds like a good idea. I can Sounds see like that Sounds like a good happening. idea. <laughs> I say nothing more. Big smiley face. So I think that's that's the next one. Like it. I like I like what, the way you think it. And I, I think sometimes. Absolutely. I mean, we're all DJs. Most of the guys that work in the company are all DJs. We have yeah. like 30 different guys in my office alone in Rhode Island. Yeah. All the testers, all the guys who do the industrial design, and, and those guys. We're all DJs. We all go out on the road. We all use the stuff ourselves. Yeah. So as we think through things and come up with these ideas, we're thinking the same way. We're thinking about yeah. how it's going to get used. Is this on uh, on the street now? Uh, this will be available this summer. Summer, okay. Yep. Okay, sweet. All right. Um, is that about it now, sir? Yeah, that's just, that's just about it. This is the new new things that we're showing here at Music Mess in Frankfurt in uh, 2013. Fantastic. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as ever, if you want any info on these products, check out a link in the description. And I will say practice and enjoy. And just leave you with a couple more views of some rather nice kit from the Newmark stand. Frank Vett Music Messi 2013. Practice and enjoy.